Good day everyone. If you are not sure whether you will be able to install Windows 11 or not, if you if you are not confirmed whether I will be able to use is my PC enough to run Windows 11 or not, I will tell you each and everything and this will be a really a cakewalk, a very simple process to install Windows or I would say how to use Rufus to boot Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, unsupported PC. We will learn how we can check and exactly how we can install all right so open your favorite browser we will download the iso first from the microsoft website so here type open the browser open google and type download windows 11 iso now the very first result will come download windows 11 microsoft.com and we'll click on that here you will find a lot of options. We will just scroll down and you will find download Windows 11 disk image ISO for 64 devices, x64. So if you're not sure whether you're using uh, 32 or 64, just go with the 64 because most of us, 99% people are now using 64 bit after 2012. So here you will download, I will click on download and it will start validating your request and then you will find the language, you can select the language, whatever the language you want to. I'll select English United States and I will confirm and again it will start validating your request. So here it gives me an option 64 bit download. So the moment I click on this download, it will start downloading the ISO in the computer. And now uh, I will not download it because I already have it. I'll just close it. Now the second thing, uh, just plug in your USB drive. And then because we will be using the USB, the pen drive. So just plug in and open the Google Chrome and here we will use rufus so just type rufus r u f u s space download you will find rufus.ie please make sure that you only visit this website rufus.ie now click on that and scroll down and here you will find standard portable standard like that and we will go with standard Windows X64. Now it will give you some. I'll just close it. And you will see the file, a very small file, like 1.4 MB is downloaded. And I will open it. It will ask you to say yes. And I will close this website. Now the window will look like this and this is a very important part. Please uh, pay attention to it. It is very easy and from this window itself we will be able to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, unsupported PC without any issues. So here we will select the device, the backup drive, I mean whatever the drive which you have, um, where exactly you want to put your Windows 11. So we, we have selected and then we will select. Now we need to select the ISO which we have downloaded. So here we will leave this ISO image and we will click on select next to it. And here you we have this Windows 11 and I'll click on open. Now it says image option standard windows installation absolutely we don't have to make any changes now here mbr gpt so if your computer is after 2012 just go with the gpt one all right and here we don't have to make any changes just just go with the GF, gpt and you will be able to install windows 11 all right and here the volume label just mention windows 11 or you can just leave it as it is and we don't have to make any changes now now we need to click on start now the moment you click on start it will give you an option 
I'll maximize. Customize Windows installation. Remove requirement for 4GB plus RAM secure boot TPM2. Remove requirement. Create a local account. Uh, set regional options like that. Uh, these. So just leave as it is and you can mention the name. Like I'll mention uh, like this. Admin or I'll just mention John. And you just have to click on OK. The moment I click on OK, it will start, you know, making the ISO on your USB drive. And from now onwards, whenever you want to install Windows 11 on any PC, it will let you install the Windows. So we have successfully created the Windows 11 ISO image on USB. And this will be very helpful. And you can simply use this usb the pen drive the flash drive to reset your pc or do the recovery and a lot of things this will be very handy for you please do let me know in the comment section if you have find this tutorial helpful and if you are able to install windows 11 on your old computer if this is if yes please leave a comment and please do share and hit the like and subscribe the channel i really need your support i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day please take care guys bye bye